I've had a couple calls recently from folks who wanted to know if something uh, that they invented or came up with, if they were going to own that or if their employer was going to own it. Uh, I'm Mike Steger. I'm an intellectual property attorney, and I'm going to talk about uh, employee and employer ownership of intellectual property. <clears throat> Generally, if someone is working for an employer as an employee, not an independent contractor, it's an important distinction, but if they're working as an employee, generally anything they create within the scope of their employment, whether it's subject to copyright, trademark, or patent, generally that's going to be owned by the employer. There are a lot of nuances to this test, which include whether what they came up with is part of their job duties or relates to something they're directly working on. Not necessarily uh, if they come up with something that would be helpful to another part of the company, but it's something they don't work on. In that case, the employee may own it, but you're not really sure. So, you know, somebody's working at Disney uh, in food services and they write a novel. Um, Disney's probably not going to own that. But if you've ever seen a Disney employment contract, you might say that they own anything the person's ever come up with. How do you solve this? I mean, if you're an employee, you know, things are are gray, you know, that may provide you some uh, leeway that maybe you own some intellectual property that you created. If you're the employer, you're going to want to have things documented very clearly, because if you've got a contract that says, here is what the company owes, here owns, here's what the employee owns, and here's what the employee is getting paid to do, then things are going to be very clear. When things are gray, you know who wins in those situations? Me, the intellectual property attorney, because we've got to go figure out everything on a case-by-case, fact-intensive basis. And what case-by-case and fact-intensive means is a lot of legal fees. So especially if you're running a business, you've got employees, you've got intellectual property that you're creating. You want to have an agreement in place so it's very clear what the employee is doing and who's going to own what the employee creates. If you have any questions about the ownership of your intellectual property, whether you're an employer or an employee, give me a call. I'm Mike Steger. I'm a copyright and trademark attorney.